So uh, thank you all for joining. Uh, welcome to building naming refactoring tool for Power Apps with YAML, VS Code, and Python script. Uh, this is our agenda for today. We we'll expose our case a bit about uh, naming convention, uh, tooling, the demo itself, and another uses for the refactoring. So uh, before we start, uh, who am I? My Jen Paul Dosha. Uh, I work at Nexer EA Brazil. Uh, I'm a former electrical engineer. Uh, also on that of teenager and 10 cats. In some case, nine the cats, but that doesn't count. So uh, let's dive in. So uh, this is our case. Uh, so we got into a legacy Power App system uh, with low level of uh, development maturity. And where the last developer reply control that like there was no tomorrow, like that one here where we got a control we replicated almost a hundred times. So we definitely wanted to rebuild the app from the scratch, but that was not possible due to time consumption and some tragic aspects. So, uh, but how how we do? How how can we uh, achieve that? How can we discover the, the app? So this is where YAML and Power Apps tooling comes to save. <laughs> uh, but before uh, talking about the tooling itself. Uh, let's talk a bit about the, the naming convention. This is the, the, the naming convention uh, based in Matt, Matthew Devaney's uh, naming convention with the addition of this container. Uh, you guys uh, have played a lot with uh, code view preview, of course, in Power App Studio, right? Uh, so uh, actually the code structure that we use for for the, the refactor is the unpacked MS app, is that one here, uh, is a bit different from the code preview. Uh, but uh, long story short, uh, we have three, three different uh, schemas, YAML schemas, right? So uh, YAML uh, has this great structure uh, that allows us to context things like the control type in here, uh, the indentation itself, and the properties inside the control, all these are gonna form this refactored name that is uh, our objective, right? So uh, for the tooling, uh, essentially, uh, we use the, the, the pack and pack co commands in the VS Code extension, Power Platform extension. Uh, the, app, the Power Apps tooling actually is, is inside the, the, the tooling, the extension, sorry, you can uh, use it in the terminal. Uh, of course, VS Code and Python scripting. Uh, for the Python scripting, I'm gonna show you actually a example of uh, of this is the 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 uh, home screen for for a, a MS app, a packet MS app. So uh, we have the screen name at the top of the file, so it's a context. So we get the the screen type, oh sorry, the control type, and, and some context inside of it, like that one. That one is a duplicated one. So, uh, and of course, uh, we extract that, those contexts and see if it's a, if, if it's a duplicated uh, control and we perform this this uh, refactoring if is necessary, and of course the that same control um, perhaps is reversing into another controls, and we need to change it to in the into the referenced control, right? So basically, this is the the scripting, the algorithm scripting, but uh, we're gonna see a bit more in the the presentation itself. Right. Uh, let me back to my slide here. Uh, and for the demo, uh, I got a, this simple app here uh, where we've got those containers and those two replicated controls with the, you can see the underlying two here is of course a duplicated control. I'm gonna download this into my folder. I'm gonna open here and take the, that file to my working file, my working folder, sorry. And what I'm gonna do, 
open up the VS Code. The file is right here. The MS app is right here. I'm gonna just copy the name to perform the the, the unpacking, right? So pack canvas unpack slash slash ms sorry app the file name and the destiny folder sources sorry or right, so my bad and i'm gonna give a destiny folder i'm gonna hit enter now it's unpacking right it's unpacking right here uh, i'm not gonna enter too much deeply into those those file structure but essentially if we wanna uh the home screen uh, yaml file right so what we're gonna do we're gonna now take this file we're gonna use the windows files it easier i'm gonna take this account home file and paste it into the python Python zip file. So let me just take again the name, open the refactoring tool. That's quite simple, straightforward. Gonna hit the extension for it. That's okay. He just found the name and performed the refactoring. So uh, let, let us check if you, everything is fine here. So I'm gonna open the, those two files side by side and compare those two, compare with home. Right, so uh, the, those two are the, the control that I showed before. Uh, we've got a rectangle tree on the line two. Now he's renamed it as rec and no uh, accounts header, accounts home. Uh, here we got a this no because we don't have uh, any context in here, but it's just fine for me. And uh, this one, works perfectly. He got that context our accounts and he put it into here the context and the 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 container that this guy's in and the screen name. Oh that's uh, quite straightforward that it's perfectly fine. What we're gonna do now it's a, a, a bit manual step but uh, I'm gonna paste it into the the folder source folder and delete the delete the original file and rename that guy and pack it this file again I'm gonna use the shortcut here to pack the file and I'm gonna rename it to view one and the source is of fine I'm gonna hit enter if it's all okay well, uh, his, there's a warning uh, that sources have been edited, but as, as of course, this is, is okay, it's fine. So what we're gonna do just to double check, we're gonna import this now, the imports in here, not in, in the uh, app anymore. Uh, let import this v1. Uh, just a, a bit of context about the, the, the Python scripting here. I told about a bit about the YAML treat as a as a string because uh, some Python YAML libraries and LLMs really don't doesn't perform well to this. But but uh, I, actually I will get this uh, um, a bit later. But here's the guy we have the com and. Here we got the, those two refactored uh, control names and don't have any any formulas. Eventually, uh, something breaks, but yes, it's perfectly fine for, for uh, this use case, right? So uh, the demo is about that. Uh, talking just a bit about, uh, this was a simple application, of course, for a specific problem that I had, but can evolve as much as your imaginations allow, of course. Uh, maybe you can embed this into a, a C Sharp app or add it to your DevOps procedure or perhaps using LLMs, as I said, and uh, made a, a deepest refactoring. Uh, I don't know. Uh, actually, last week with the 
the, the Git integration uh, performed this, but that will be to another another call, right? Uh, guys, uh, that was the demo. Uh, please keep in touch. Those are my contacts and feel free to contact me. Thank you.